Hi, my friend. Today, I am going to talk to you about something that aspiring authors come to me all the time asking, which is how do I find a literary agent for my nonfiction book proposal? This video is specifically about nonfiction. So this is anything from memoir to self-help to personal growth, wellness, diet books, um, health books, biography, any book that is not fiction this video will tell you how to find a literary agent. I've been a book editor for 20 years. I've worked at some of the biggest houses in the United States, and I've learned a lot in that time about how to find a literary agent, and I'm so excited to be bringing that information to you right here. Before we go any further, I just wanna say, click subscribe on this channel. This is where I bring all of my information, great information for you, and I don't want you to miss a video. Okay. So the question, how do I find a literary agent for my nonfiction book proposal? First of all, what is a literary agent? A literary agent is the person who will shop your book proposal around to different publishers, publishers who will, in most cases, not even look at your book proposal if you send it in directly. It must come from a literary agent for really good reasons that I'm not gonna go into here. Most of the big houses, the traditional publishers, require that you have a literary agent. It, you know, for a lot of different reasons, as I said, but for one reason, it actually lets them know your book is good. Someone has said, wow, this book is so good. I am going to invest my time, energy, and effort in trying to get it sold. Literary agents do not take any money from you. I'm going to say this one more time because there are literary agents out there that will convince you otherwise, but real legitimate literary agents will not take any money from you until they sell your book. That is the role of the literary agent, to sell your book, and then they will get a 15% fee off of all of your proceeds once they've actually sold the book for you. That is their role, okay? And the publishers love it because they know this book proposal has been vetted by someone and someone's enthusiasm is infused in it who I know, like, and trust because the book publishers and the agents know each other very well. The editors at the houses take out agents to breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks all the time. They get to know each other so that when a book proposal comes to an agent that they really love and they want to take on, they know exactly which editor to send it to at which house, okay? So, what are the steps? I've got six steps for you in the process of finding your dream literary agent. Okay, so number one, most important, develop a great concept, method, message, hook for your book. Whatever you're writing, it must be exceptional. When it comes to nonfiction, it's actually got to stand above the crowd. It must be something that lots of people out there in the public already know they need and want, okay? It can't be something that you've come up with that's brand new that you try to sell to people. You need to, it could be that your content is brand new, but the hook, the way you pitch it to the agent and the way they pitch it to the editor and the way it gets pitched to the public must be with some sort of a need the public already knows that it has. It might be a need for information, it might be a need for a methodology, it might need be a need to somehow heal past pain and trauma. We don't know what you're writing about, the, the sky is the limit, but it must be a need lots of people, specifically people who read books, <laughs> are going to know that they want a need. Okay, that's the number one most important thing. Step number two, people hate it when I say this, I gotta tell you, you must start to generate traction for your idea. You must prove that there's an audience for it by building yourself an author platform. This includes having a newsletter list that you're sending out regularly. You've gotta have a blog. Maybe it's a, a YouTube channel like mine. Maybe you've got a podcast. Um, we need to see at least that you understand the concept of building a platform and you're doing everything you can to get that platform underway. You might be a speaker. You might be um, teaching live workshops. Whatever it is, you're in front of a lot of people. You're communicating to a lot of people a lot of the time. They know who you are, they trust you, and they are going to want your book. A publisher must know this in advance when it comes to nonfiction. The reason is they need to know there are going to be enough books already asked for in the audience, in the marketplace, that they will make back whatever investment they put into publishing your book in advance. So step number two in finding a literary agent is absolutely you must start building a platform. Okay, people ask me all the time, how big should the platform be? And you notice that I didn't really overemphasize social media when I just told you the ways that I wanted you to be building a platform. That is because the thing that publishers are still looking for as of the recording of this video is your email list. Why? You, you've got 100,000 people on your Instagram feed, but you only have 5,000 on your email list. Why is that gonna look bad to a publisher? Well, the reason is that as you scroll through your Instagram feed, do you stop on every single post? Do you click through? Pretty rarely, right? How often have you actually bought a book you first heard about on Instagram? 
Most of the time, we purchase books from people we already know, like, and trust as experts in their area. And the way that we prove we know, like, and trust them is that we have invited them into our inbox. We read their newsletter. We read the information that comes into our living room, which is um, in the, the online world, our inbox. Okay. So the inbox is orders of magnitude more powerful than your Instagram feed, than your Facebook feed, than your LinkedIn. It is, it is the most powerful place that you can meet someone. So publishers want to know that you have people on your list. Now, how many people do you need? It depends on the size of the publisher and it depends on the size of the audience. Okay. So if you have a general topic that you're writing about, you will need to have a lot of names because there's a lot of competition. If you have a really specific topic that you're writing about, like in my case, my book is back there, the book you were born to write. It's specifically for people who are writing transformational nonfiction. It's a niche, right? So I didn't need to have 50,000 or a hundred thousand people on my email list. But if you're writing about something like happiness or love in the, you know, just writ large in a general sense, there's so much competition out there. You will need to have 50, 75, 100,000 names on your newsletter list to be of interest to a publisher. Okay. I, I have to say that it's the place where people don't want to hear it, but I need to let you know. Okay. So step number two in finding a literary agent is to build that email list. That should be the first thing you say to an, to a, your agent when you come in contact with them is I have this amazing email list. Okay. So Number three step is to write an amazing book proposal. A book proposal is like the business plan for your book. It's all the information that a publisher needs to know to be able to successfully assess whether or not your book is going to sell and whether it's a good match for them. I have a lot of information about writing a book proposal on my website, knliterary.com. Go over there, check it out. You will find a lot of really detailed information about how to write a book proposal. You need to write a great one. Bonus points if you decide to invest in an editor before you send out your book proposal. What? Before I send out my book proposal, an editor? Why? Because you have one chance to make a, a good first impression with a literary agent. And you are not someone who's worked in the book publishing business your whole career. You're not someone who has seen books fly and books fail. You're not someone who has crafted dozens or even hundreds of book proposals for authors. You do not have the depth of knowledge that an editor has about how good that book proposal needs to be, what would it would take to get it from where you got it to actually like polished and ready to go. It, it is an invaluable use of your editorial budget. If you want to get your foot in the door with an agent, work with an editor, a developmental editor, a content editor specifically, who can help you craft what you've created into an even better book proposal, okay? Moving on to step number four, you have to write a query letter. Most agents are not gonna ask you to send them the, your book proposal right out of the gate. They just wanna see one page explaining what your book is gonna be about. This query letter needs to be super dialed. We want it to be amazing because that query letter is the thing that will stand between you and getting to send your book proposal. So you wanna send a, a, an amazing query letter. This is another good place to work with an editor. We've written thousands of query letters. We know what works and what doesn't work. You're hook must be so clearly articulated, really, really clearly articulated that that typical um, query letter has three different parts. I talk about it all in the book you were born to write. I give you a full template for writing that query letter in the book. I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend working with an, with an editor to get this ready to send to agents. Again, you have one chance. You don't want to blow it. Okay. So number four is to do a ton of research. Ooh, research. People don't like research, but you must. There are thousands of agents out there. How do you know that the agent that you're sending it to is someone who actually works on the type of books you're writing? You need to make sure that this is their area of specialty. Agents are specialists, okay? Some of them will do multiple different genres, but they are specialists in their genres. You want to find someone who specializes in the genre you're writing, whether it is transformational nonfiction, a memoir, or a how-to or self-help book. You want to make sure this person has sold lots of books in your category already, or if they're a newer agent, which is a great place to start, newer agents are hungrier, they need more content, they at least work at an agency that specializes in your genre, so they have more senior agents to go to for questions, for submissions, lists, et cetera. Okay. So you want to make sure that you do this research. You find agents who've worked on books like yours. How do you do that? 
First stop, PublishersMarketplace.com. It is a wonderful resource. It is sort of the standard in the US book business, the website that every book editor, every agent has a subscription to. It's $25 a month. You don't need to have it forever, but it's definitely highly recommended. You can sign up for their Publishers Lunch uh, daily email. Everyone in the business reads it every day because it tells you all the things that are happening in the business. It sort of synthesizes the information that busy professionals do not have time to go out and look for themselves including what books are selling, how they, how much they sold for, what agents sold them. You've got a, a, just a treasure trove of information on that site. Do research on agents on that site who work in your genre. The second place you're gonna look is either on your own bookshelf or on the shelf at a brick and mortar bookstore. You want to look in the acknowledgement section of books that are similar to yours, books you would love to have your book sitting next to on the bookshelf. Anyone who has used an agent will thank their agent in their acknowledgement section. No editor will let a book go to press that had an agent and where the agent and the author are still working together without a thank you to the agent on that page. It must be there. And the good news about that is it tells you a book that the agent has worked on. Ideally, you will read this book, you will like this book, and you will reference this book in the query letter you send to this agent specifically, okay? So this is the important piece. That query letter needs to be tailored a dozen times, 25 times, 50 times, depending on how many agents you're sending to. Every single one must feel like a love letter from you to that specific agent or they will throw it out, okay? It needs to show that you have chosen them out of this crowd for a reason that's a really good reason. That will give them the reason to actually read your query letter. So you wanna start the query letter tailored to that agent. I read this book of yours. I think you would like my book, okay? That is one way to make your letter stand out among the crowd, okay? The other piece of research you must do, step number five, is to research the exact submissions guidelines that that specific agent would like to see when they receive your book proposal, your query, et cetera. Every single agent will have submissions guidelines on their website. So you find the agent, let's say, in a book by an author that you really admire, and then you go Google them and you find their website for their agency and you look for the link that says submissions guidelines. Every single agency will will have it. They will tell you exactly whether or not they're receiving submissions and looking for new writers and in what way they want you to reach out to them. Generally, these days, they're going to ask for a query letter sent via email. It may be that they want one chapter. It may be that they want your whole proposal. It may be that they want none of that and just the query letter, okay? So you must make a spreadsheet <laughs> with their email address, what they've asked for, when you sent it, and maybe when you heard back from them. That spreadsheet will help you keep your wires from getting crossed. There is no easier way to get your query letter thrown out than if you accidentally send it to Sally, but you say, oh, this letter, you know, dear John, I read your book, blah, 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 the book that you edited, blah, blah, blah. They'll say, you know what, this person is not detail oriented. They don't actually, they haven't done the kind of well tailored query letter that I look for it's out, okay? So I want you to keep it in a spreadsheet so that you stay super organized around that, okay? Um, and finally, step number six, keep trying. Do not get discouraged. I sometimes tell people that a really fun way to do it is to not be sending out your query letters expecting to hear back that somebody wants your book. Instead, to set yourself a personal goal to send out at least 25 query letters, or maybe it's even 50. It is not easy to find an agent who's enthusiastic about your title, as enthusiastic as you are, and I want them to be. And by title, I mean your book. We, the book publishing business, we call books titles sometimes. We want to make 100% sure they have that enthusiasm because without that enthusiasm, they're not gonna do a really good job of selling your book. So make sure that you give yourself plenty of time, plenty of space, and you don't you know, you don't go down crash burn emotionally when you get your rejections because every author gets rejected. Sometimes big, big authors that go on to be number one New York Times bestsellers for years on end, they got rejected 15, 20, 25 times. So just know this is part of being an author. Set yourself a personal goal and give yourself, throw yourself a little party when you reach it. It is a major step toward getting your book out into the world and it shows that you have the dedication and passion to actually take the next step. I highly, highly recommend that you set it up like that in your own mind so that you can feel like it's a win every single time you send out a query letter.
So that is my information about how to find a literary agent for your nonfiction book. So much more information back at my website, knliterary.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I come out to you multiple times a month with new videos so that I can help you get the book you were born to write into the world. So I hope that that was helpful. It is all the information I know about how to find a literary agent for your nonfiction book. I would love to hear from you. Tell me about your process. Have you sent out query letters? How did it go? Um, if you find an agent, by all means, let me know that too. You can write it in the comments below or you can come to knliterary.com and reach out on the contact form. We always reach back. I'm really excited for you on this journey. In the meantime, best of luck and keep writing.